Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video we're going to go through this bleeding edge build and I'm going to show you how you can complete dungeons really fast and do really high damage and we're going to do this right now. Shout out and big thank you to Fade and Hojitsi from the Steam community because I have been using a bit of the tips and tricks that you have uh, pointed out on the community page. So thank you for that. Alright, welcome back to my channel guys. As you can see we're going to take a look at a bleeding edge build. Here we got 12k damage. If I use Bulwark, I'm up to 14k damage which is pretty damn awesome, right? And you also have the ability to teleport around like this, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, so let's take a look at the points here. That I've spent all my points into toughness, and this is what you want to do for this build. But let's take a look here. As you can see, we are going this way up here, uh, putting some points into Sentinel toughness. Toughness dodge and dodge again here simply to uh, get up here toughness maximum health and attack damage and into a retaliator here. Uh, this build is actually made around attack damage. As you can see, we gain 10% attack damage here and we gain 5% attack damage here and what this does is it scales really well with bleeding edge it is a percentage that's actually just pumping up the damage of the bleeding edge and as you can see while we move here we gain ferocity critical hit chance critical hit chance score again ferocity and material damage which also gives us damage for um, the bleeding edge and uh, more attack damage you can see 10% here 5% here and 5% here so this is 20% on top again and we gain some attack speed score here in the warmonger department 30% physical damage converted into rent damage blood reaper and marked flesh here at the end with 15% rent damage and a lot of the damage that you're actually doing is rent damage so uh, this is pumping up the damage a lot if i remove all these points i would have 2k damage on my bleeding edge but right now i have 12k right so if you spend these points right you will gain 10k damage so this is how the passive skill tree looks so let's dive into the gear so, as you can see right now, I'm doing 12k damage, Everett damage on Bleeding Edge. And I'm using these rings, Seal of the Arbiter. It will remove my attack speed, and but it will give me 50% melee weapon damage, which is 50% that's buffing up direct damage here on my Bleeding Edge. You can see if I take this ring off, I'm down to... 6.4k damage right and if i take the other ring off i'm down to 2700 damage so it's pretty uh, important that you have these rings if you want to run with the bleeding edge build i'm also using seventh purifiers legion archive and this is because I want to have access to teleport I mean ether jump and also bulwark of dawn because this is actually giving me damage and giving me all resistances and uh, helping me survive big packs and also this gives me 25% attack damage so this will actually give me a lot of damage as well as well as rage per strike back you could also run with the catalyst here instead if you don't have this item 
and then you will also gain access to these spells so you can actually run with this build. My weapon is a one-handed bladed mace, legendary item with flat damage in the gems. And I have all resistances gear, material resistance score in my gems, which will give me damage because I'm running with Praetorian. I am lacking the unique gloves uh, at the moment, but I am trying to get them. <laughs> but this is the gear that I'm running with, and what is important for this build is that you find go find these rings seal of the arbiter and you run with an offhand like this to be able to gain access to these spells here we got the active skills and first off i want to talk about bleeding edge we have chosen the, chosen the skill modifiers increased area of effect and unstoppable momentum where the axe keeps spinning for a short duration after being thrown down at an extra cost but as you can see here 11 uh, k 12 k damage uh, nearly and total damage is 7400 and the rent damage as well as I talked about earlier it is pretty high right so this is why I we uh, we are running with the uh, those talents the passive skill tree uh, next up we have bulwark of dawn I've chosen to run with grant bonus resistances Aegis of hope while you are inside the area right this will give you extra damage and it's actually giving me about 2k damage when I stay into the circle. Also, you gain a sacred damage to attacks while standing in the area. Blade of Truth. These are the two skill modifiers that I am using to gain this damage. Also, we got the Shout. Where we grant Rage. We have chosen Raging Berserker and we have chosen Hold the Line which will give you all resistances and this is also extra damage to your abilities. Now this Wings of Ishmael, Greater Rage Generation and Increased Flight Speed. This a modifier called light speed is really important in this build because what the rings are doing is they are taking away your attack speed and actually this have an effect on this uh, skill here because if I not if I do not choose the light speed uh, modification the jump will be so slow uh, that the enemies will be able to hit you in the air and you can actually die when you're leaping into a pack because uh, you're you're moving so slow right so this is why I've chosen light speed also we have either jump I'm running with increased range and that we can cast it multiple times to be able to use it again and again. Now that we have been looking at some of the details for this build, let's actually dive in and have some fun here, guys. So let's start off. You can see I started with teleporting to the nearest enemy, teleporting again. You can clear the dungeons pretty fast, and remember, this is a plus 16 that we're doing right now. We're going to complete this whole dungeon, and I will show you how quickly this can be done. You can see the way I'm using the shield. I was ready for when this guy was actually going to come at me, but... So the way you can use the shield, it 
F is if you uh, you know put down your bleeding edge, you can put the shield on top of it, and you can just keep standing there, and all the enemies will come towards you. And the shield will actually give you quite a lot of survival, survivability, quite a lot of all resistances, and extra damage as well. We're running with 1644 health points at the moment with this gear. You can see there was a crit around 20k crit there. Let's see how fast we can get this big guy down. There we go. Three seconds, he's dead. Use the health potion here, put down my shield, put down my bleeding edge as you can see. And there was a thug coming in, this is one of the harder mobs to kill, how fast he went down. I would say the only negative thing about this build is because I'm using the catalyst, the transfer time between willpower and rage is very slow so you need to get used to that or you need to uh, get some gems in that will reduce this transfer time 21k crit there working our way to the boss here as you can see 20k crit again it's pretty decent and I would say if you have the unique uh, unique gloves, two pair of those unique gloves, you will be able to do a lot more damage because these will give you attack damage or attack critical hit damage as I recall. It is actually going to give you uh, extra damage that will scale with bleeding edge as well so you can get really high crits you can see here we had 25k crit so as of now I'm just really on the lookout for some uh, for the gloves to, to get my damage up the last bit here I'm not even sure that I'm going to farm it because as you guys know, the patch is coming soon, the first content patch, and um, it's going to reset everything, right? So Let's see how we deal with the boss. You can see I put down my shield right now and bleeding edge, and I'm able to just stand there, take the hits from the boss. This is a plus 16, guys, so it is working out pretty well with, with the bulwark for this build. And right there, the boss is down, and we are complete. Like, subscribe, thank you for watching, share the video, see you later.